I'm Full Paragon, and this is the Konosuba Fantastic Days April Tier List Update. The only major change to the tier list this month was the introduction of El Silo, or Axel Heart Silo. She was placed in S tier, and she will see heavy usage in Lightning for a long time, and Cross Element in the short term. She's a great support, and the best new pickup for new players who are just starting the game and are re-rolling right now. She's the only new adventurer who was introduced of medic significance this past month. The other characters introduced on the Maid banners and the Axel Heart banners aren't of any real meta significance. Maid Amy, Axel Leah, and Axel Erica all go into B tier. Maid Amy does have some potential usage on wind teams for now, although long term magic based wind teams will fall off. Axel Leah is alright in dark, but that will be a mage ruled element for some time, and by the time it flips to physical, she won't really see much use. Axelia has some potential in Lightning and could see some use in the near future, while Maid Chris and Maid Mia simply have no place in the meta and will never see any use at all. The only other movement on the tier list was that when Cecilia or Cafe Cecilia was dropped down to B tier after a very short stay in A tier. Maid Amy is her near peer, neither have captured much of the meta in the last Earth Arena, and I anticipate that we will continue to see more usage from other options, whether that be an all-in Just Live DPS team, or instead using the more readily available Amelia from the previous ReZero collab. There are no other changes at this time. This was a very stable month with only one impactful banner and character that were shaking up the meta. I'm going to go through the tier list element by element as this was something that was frequently requested, starting with Fire. In Fire, the big kahuna here is, of course, Christmas Wiz. She's at the absolute top of the meta, and she sees heavy usage in every single arena, even in Lightning Arena, where she is elementally disadvantaged. She is the next best option, and is seen on every single meta team. This should change shortly to a slight degree, mostly in one arena in particular, which is Earth Arena, which we'll get to later on. The other top of the meta unit is... Halloween Union. That agility buff that she possesses makes it almost impossible to get a top score without her. The other meta choices in Fire would be Explosive Megamine. She's seen a lot of usage in this arena, and there will continue to be other arenas where she's the choice that you will go to over ReZero Megamine. You can also use her 3-star version and get almost as good results. Cafe Union is a tier below Halloween Union for a good reason. While well, she's an excellent character, she just doesn't match up to her four-star version. Halloween Iris continues to hang in there as a great choice for the last slot, although Snow Aru is creeping up on her. Swimsuit Rid is another great option in the Fire Element, and a lot of teams are employing her. The other characters on the tier list see varying degrees of usage, mostly on off-meta teams or on welfare teams, although special mention does go to three-star Fire Rin, who does occasionally see more usage than her four-star version, due to being easily available and have better control of boss damage output. In the water element, Amelia continues to rule the roost. She continues to be absolutely vital to get into the top 1k, and it's almost impossible to rank without her. Water Megamine is another pretty good choice. Most of the time, ReZero Megamine is the one that you will go to, but on occasion, Water Megamine does see some usage. I put Valentine's Wiz in A tier, She's better than her original due to her on-element basic attack, which will cause her to deal more damage, although in every situation, Christmas Wiz is just better. The real pick here are Academy Union and Swimsuit Union. Academy is better than Swimsuit, but both of them are great units, and they're what make the Water Mage team work. Even though she's a 3-star, Water Aru continues to be the preferred choice, even over Valentine's Iris to make up the last slot on a Water team. The rest of the characters see varying degrees of usage. Snow Rin is the best replacement if you don't have a Water Union, as one is a 4-star and the other is limited, although she is clearly inferior to both, and the other physical characters just don't stack up. Special mention goes to this being the element of Kazu Trash, who is by far the worst 4-star in the game who is in darkness, and a Water Aqua that is rather pathetic. Though, at one point, the Goddess of Water will return and claim her rightful place as queen of this element. Lightning is the element that got a shot in the arm this month with the introduction of El Silo, who, along with Christmas Wiz, is leading mages to victory right now. The rest of the meta characters include Swimsuit Aqua, who is an alternative to Lightning Silo, 
and of course Lightning Union, who is pretty much mandatory to run a Lightning Mage team, while Casino Iris is the character of choice to run in the rear. I will note that with the release of Kenpo Lia, I foresee that Lightning could become an element that is split down the middle, with some teams seeing success as physical, while others continue to use mages. This is mostly because of the dearth of options in Lightning and the fact that you can't run Christmas Wiz here. I do note that this is only a potential outcome and that people will have need to heavily invest it into physical teams. The physical team would include Snow Chris, Lightning Mitsurugi, the new Kenpo Lia, and Lightning Melissa, along with probably Swimsuit Aqua. This could happen or it could not, We'll have to wait and see what the next banner will bring. Now we come to what is probably the weakest element in the entire game, Earth. The meta units in Earth right now include a two-star union. That's how few options this element has. The good characters are New Year Aqua, New Year Megamine, Casino Mitsurugi, and Slappy Earthrin, along with, of course, Earth Union. With an upcoming release of the Ballroom Banner, which contains the best Iris to date, and by far the best Kazuma to date, I think that Earth will definitely be flipping over to Physical, and will see the demotion of Yoon Yoon and Rin to the second string. However, for that team to succeed, players would need again to heavily invest in Earth. More specifically, they will need to max trial Mitsurugi, and Leah. I don't foresee many players having done this, and because of this, I think Earth will, for at least the time being, be a split element until players are able to invest enough into a physical team to make it viable. Now we have Wind, which will remain a firmly mage-based element up until the release of the Don Machi collab, which is at least a month and a half away. This is primarily due to original four-star Rin being such a great choice for mage team along with Onsen Yoon Yoon. There is also a Welfare 3 star Ren that is pretty great and can see quite a bit of usage in meta teams. Wind Megamine is a pretty decent choice, although I don't foresee that she will see much usage since she again competes with ReZero Megamine. As for other options, there's quite a few supports for Wind here. We have Cafe, Cecily, and Maid Amy as the best choices, along with original CeeLo, although I don't think she can hold a candle to the agility buff that Cecily has and the high-powered magic attack buffs that Maid Amy has. As for the physical choices, for now, they're on the back burner, although they do, again, have the potential to come to the forefront once we see the release of Don Machi, and specifically Eyes, who is an absolute monster in wind. In light, the star of the show is actually Union, although as usual, the one who gets the most attention is Megami specifically ReZero Megami. Her powerful buffs for Wave Clear, along with her ability to explode and allow you to bring in a more powerful DPS, makes her one of the most prevalent characters in the meta. While she can be replaced specifically by other Megamines, overall, she's good at everything and is usually the best option. Union, however, is what makes this team hum. Her powerful Tier 3 Magic Attack buff and ability to deal scads of on-element light damage are what really make her shine. Maxed out, 4-star Union is the best choice, although 3-star Whalefolder Union is still a great choice. The next character to talk about is RP Aru, or Welfare Aru. RP is by far the better option with two single target attacks and powerful magic defense down skills, but her Welfare version can do quite well. Iris is usually either run in the last slot or used on a physical team, although those won't see much use for some time. The rest of the characters are physical options, while Onsen Megamine is just completely dumpstered by ReZero Megamine. The last element is Dark, which even though it seems to have few options, it has Aru and Union, which is more than enough. Dark Aru is at the top of the element, she's almost impossible to replace, and you'll see just about every top arena team running her. Every top arena team will be running 3-star Union. Even though she's a 3-star, her on-element dark damage is massive, and of course that tier 3 magic attack buff is vital. Swimsuit Megamine is occasionally going to see some usage. She saw some usage this last dark arena, due to those snails having crazy defense, and needing her dark type damage. 
However, it's rare that she will win out over ReZero Megamine as those buffs are simply too strong. The rest of the characters are things that you will use if you're missing someone, such as subbing in either PJ Wiz or Shopkeeper Wiz if you are missing Christmas Wiz, although they just don't do as good of a job, and the physical options. And way down there, we have PJ Megamine, who is the worst Megamine due to having no boost to her explosive damage and relying on her skills for damage, which is just not where a Megamine wants to be. Combined, this results in the four-star tier list that you see here. There is a link in the description to this tier list on the tier list document. More and more, I think I'm going to be relying on splitting the tiers out by element, as with so many characters, it's getting harder and harder to parse the needed information at a glance. Although I will say that the Meta Queens, ReZero Megamine, and Christmas Wiz continue to be dominant in just about every single element. I'll leave you with the state of the meta. It is currently Mage Meta 24-7, as it has been since January. Christmas Wiz and ReZero Megamine continue to dominate every arena, and so far, nothing has been able to stop them. However, I think this upcoming month, Earth and Lightning are going to have a chance to become elements where physical is either a viable option or even the dominant option. As time goes on, we will continue to see the meta shift. Specifically, we will be looking forward to Don Machi in May, which should finally see some balance to the meta where we see an option to use physical or mage teams in many arenas. But specifically, I would look to Ballroom, Iris, and Cosma and Ken Polia to cause a minor shakeup in the coming month. Thanks for watching, and look forward to more Konosuba Fantastic Days videos in the near future.